hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel i am doing a sit down video like this because i'm going to talk about the erasmus uh, mundus scholarship which is what i got and is the reason for me being in europe myself I already did a short video on that but I'll just do a short recap I studied at the University of the Western Cape in Cape Town I did my degree honors and masters in environmental and water science so yeah that's a bit about myself so I discovered the scholarship in the year I graduated for my masters Finally, now to talk about the scholarship, I wrote down some notes on my laptop, so I'll be looking to the side a lot just to see if I've covered everything. So first thing first, what is the Erasmus Mundus Scholarship? So the scholarship is funded by the European Union and it allows students to study across Europe, either partially funded or fully funded. I was fortunate enough to get the fully funded scholarship and I've been able to study in four different countries, namely Portugal, Poland, Germany, Belgium. So I've already covered the first three. I'm currently in Belgium. I literally arrived in Belgium like four days ago. So I'm still getting used to the place. This is like my new room. Yeah, so it's really all exciting because you get to live in all those different cities. In Belgium, I'm in Antwerp. I've only explored the city for a little bit, but I'm going to give myself time because I have six months to live here. One of the most important things to get in the scholarship is you need to do your research, hey? Because there are many programs under the scholarship. It's like, it's an Erasmus Mundus joint master's program. The joint comes in place where it's like the four different universities you get to go to. So you'll get like one degree, with all the names of the universities you studied at listed in one certificate. So you need to do your research. And, and the scholarship covers a wide range of fields from arts to engineering. And each of these applications have different requirements. Even for my field when I was um, researching for what I wanted to apply for, there were like four I was interested in, but depending on like the scholarship the requirements for the application i ended up choosing the one i chose which is the masters in applied ecohydrology i literally discovered it like three or two weeks before it closed and it was the easiest um, application process i could like get the, all the documents required in time so that's why i applied for it and thank god i got it i was honestly trying my luck yeah so with this application there's a lot of people who apply so you need to make sure you do your utmost best to make it up like stand out and the best way you can do that is through your motivational letter or cover letter and the reference letters you get so i was fortunate enough to get a reference letter from my master's thesis um supervisor prof day she was amazing i loved the reference letter she wrote for me and I was fortunate enough to have interned at an NGO called Environmental Monitoring Group the past year for like six months. So I got the project manager was managing me there to like write a reference letter. So I guess those two and the motivational letter I wrote is what resulted in me getting the letter. And having good grades also did not hurt because I applied using my degree results because most european countries don't have honors it's like you do your four-year degree and you do your masters so i applied using my degree and i had like graduated with summa cum laude so i guess that kind of helped as well yeah so since the erasmus mundus scholarship is like covers a lot of the world like most countries can apply but one of the application like um, requirements is that you need to prove your English proficiency. Fortunately enough, I did not have to do that because South Africans are counted as n native English speakers. 
So all I had to do was like obtain a document from the university stating that all my learning was conducted in English and all of that, so that was enough. But I know some of my friends who did study in English but still had to do the IELTS proficiency and the TOEFL, TOEFL test. So like if you're not from South Africa and you happen to be watching this video and you're from somewhere else in like Africa or wherever you're from, just make sure that if you are required to take that test or you can just get a document from your university saying that you are proficient in English and all your studying was in English. So for my application, the most important things that I had to like compile were my certificates, the reference letters, the cover letter, and motivational letter. Or, or I also had to do a CV. Yeah, so I didn't have to worry about the English proficiency. So once I had all of those compiled, I submitted. And all you have to do after submitting is wait and pray and cross fingers. Because to be honest, I was just testing my luck. Because at the time I applied, I was also busy applying for jobs in my country because I had just graduated. So it was like, go work or continue studying. And I'd always wanted to study abroad. And the Erasmus Mundus scholarship seemed so perfect for me because I get to travel while studying. And I'd get full funding. Like, it's perfect. Yeah. Um, a piece of advice when writing your motivational letter or cover letter, make sure you check for templates. Like I use templates and then I modify those templates to fit my experiences. Because I know writing does not come easy to everyone. Like you have all these ideas, but then putting them down is not always the easiest. So having a template to work with always helps. And you just tailor the template of it to your life story, edit, put the bits and pieces that will work for you. So that's what worked for me as well. So about the funding. So I got the fully funded scholarship, which is I get 1000 euros stipend every month. But you'd think it's a lot if you convert it to South African rand. It's like more than what internships government internships give you like it's like triple more what you get if you were interning and in, back home so that's like was number one um you also get a travel allowance twice yeah once every year so it's a two-year program so you get one on the first year and then you get another one on the second year so the travel allowance is like three thousand euros but you need to be aware that you don't get the travel allowance before you arrive. So you will need to like figure out your visa money, figure out the flights, figure out your accommodation fees, all of that to get to the first country you will be studying at. And then after a month of being there, that's only when you will get your travel allowance. I know it sucks. Yeah, I was also disappointed when I first found that out. But yeah, trust me, they do pay it out and you will get like your first travel allowance with the first allowance and it feels like a lot of money so if you don't budget don't squander it because europe is expensive so you need to know how to budget so my fellow students and fellow south africans so if you've ever dreamt of studying abroad like the erasmus mundus scholarship is perfect for you don't let anything like stop you like try your luck you never know there's a lot of programs available through erasmus mundus you might just find like more than one that fits perfectly for you so try your luck with each and every one of them and even if you don't get taken the first time try again like don't give up i will make sure to list all the links i used to find the scholarships in the description so hopefully i think now it's now it's september so most are mostly opening or are about to open like october november so you have time to apply till maybe january and you will have time to compile all your documents so do not waste your time to close off don't let anything hold you back take the leap of faith and send out your application this could be the opportunity you've been waiting for, you never know. 
so that's it from me guys don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and stay in tune for more videos i'll probably be doing more vlogs but i'll see if i can do more of these because i seem to like it so see you next time bye